Now on Southern Living Presents Space Camp. Hello and welcome to Southern Living Presents. I'm Frances Schultz and we're at the Gaylord Opryland Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. Now today, we'll go into the kitchen of an acclaimed Nashville restaurant and into the studio with a fire artist. But first, some young astronauts in training. Okay, Mission Control, this is Commander. Um, I'm just trying to get a hold of Capcom. Capcom, I'm, I'm on with you guys. I'm on channel A. Okay, I'll go to channel B now. We have 167 kids from 24 states and eight countries. You need what? Time of ignition. Please. The thing that's different about space camp this week is that all the kids are blind and visually impaired. And that's what makes the week so special. The uh, abbreviation 5 stands for Space Camp for Interested Visually Impaired Students. CIVIS started in 1990 with 10 students from the West Virginia School for the Blind. I want you to see if you can remember these dates. Every year, visually impaired students from around the world travel to Huntsville, Alabama to enjoy the complete space camp experience. It only takes a few modifications. We spend about two weeks each year getting ready. Our technicians go through the shuttle simulators and rip out some of the consoles and put new panels in that have braille lettering. So when a kid gets here, if they want Braille, they've got it. If they want large print, they've got it. If they need a closed circuit TV to see regular print, we've got it. How are you doing? Good. What we do at Space Camp during this particular week is we will remove the word can't from our vocabulary. There's nothing here that those kids cannot do. Okay, I'm getting really dizzy. I think I'm going to hurl. But can you at least slow it down a tiny bit? <laughs> Did you use that as much? Or when I first got involved with Space Camp back in 1990 on my very first trip, it was all about math and science. And after four or five years, I figured it out. It's not so much the math and science, it's the ability of these kids to come here and be around other blankets. It's so neat. You can meet people from like so many different places. Like I would never meet an Australian unless I came here. You meet people who have similar problems and difficulty, which, you know, normally I wouldn't do that. I never really meet anyone who has difficulty seeing things. SciViz is a week-long program of mission simulations, classes, and trying out the same simulators that NASA astronauts use. Orbiter is on a town. Many of the children that are here have never seen the light of day, yet these kids they come and they get the entire space camp program from operating the shuttle simulators to diving in our neutral buoyancy tank. <laughs> this is actually my favorite week out of the whole year, working with the SciViz trainees. I love working with them. What we have in the water is a mock-up of what a part of the space station would be. So they will change out a battery in a weightless environment. They will raise a satellite so what we do, we explain it to them in detail on the surface and then kind of guide their hands underwater. Okay. At first I was having trouble breathing because I think I was doing it wrong, but now I'm getting used to it. And um, I think I had the training down pretty well to go under now. Can you imagine going underwater, not being able to hear, and not being able to see? I don't know that I could do that. It would scare me. These guys are so brave. Okay, stand by guys, stand by, I'm working on it. It's amazing for me to go down to the training center floor and watch the kids, and you have to marvel at the guts that they have, because they're in a strange environment, they're performing, we give them challenges, and they meet those challenges. Well, I do think it would be a lot easier if you could see it, but with people telling you where it is, you can still get it done the same way. You just have to think a bit more. The week-long program culminates with the EDM, or Extended Duration Mission. That's a six-hour shuttle mission simulation that uses all of the skills learned during the week. Right, well, okay, hold on, let me look at that. We're at two hours, 30 minutes, stand by. 
I have a double job. I have to talk to uh, what was Houston over here and get the pertinent information on Channel B up to the orbiter and make sure they make it down and uh, okay. Okay, stand by guys, stand by, I'm working on it. I'm about to right now send them the message that they're getting a tornado and that they're gonna have to evacuate the building and at the same time, the orbiter, the pilot and commander are going to get a whole bunch of anomalies that nobody will be here to solve. Oh. The counselors who are working the mission will go through the room and mess it up to simulate that the wind and everything has knocked everything around inside of their building. Okay, guys, I, I, read, a, uh, I read a full caution warning computer failure. Can you hear me now? Yes, 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 we can hear you. Okay, I, can, I, I know what it is, just how long? Go quickly, we gotta catch up. Okay, guys. Okay. Clear your caution warning memory. We have a computer failure. Yeah, we had, a, we had a slight tornado here at Johnson. That's why I suddenly dropped off the air. Boiler controller, three switches on. Yeah. Valve cool, two switches to off. Wind didn't fly. Put in by three. Keypad. Okay. Okay. Everybody get in your seats. Is this all these are open? Please. Yeah, strap yourself down. Is your landing gear arm, guys? Just pull back. Oh my goodness, they're falling down. One. Is your landing gear arm, guys? Hello. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. <laughs> oh, I'll Is your landing gear armed? Yes. Let's see if they're falling. One, three, two, three. Welcome home, guys. Thank you. Yay! Good job, and we would just like to welcome you back to Earth here. Thank you. And know that the year is still 2004. To come from this very small rural country town, Basically, the only way I can describe it is mind blowing. Um, to actually get to use these computers and scuba dive and do other things, it's incredible. I never thought I'd be doing things like this. It's really, really neat to meet all these people with similar difficulties. And also, I have some degree of vision, so I can help the people who have less vision. So it's funny because at home, I'm the one who can't see very well, but here, I'm one who can see really well. The children leave here an inch taller than they were. Uh, they grow and they mature and, uh, and, and they go home with a new confidence that they didn't have before. That's too high.